All right, boys, I say we finish alone in the dark and I need to know if this guy bipolar and hasn't taken his medication or a therapist is just giving this guy a bunch of drugs so he's in this insane loop or if there's actual some supernatural shit going on, okay? So this whole game is, is he schizo or not? All right, that is the question. And then the next hour, we're gonna find out if he's fucking schizo or not. It has a bit of, you know what, exactly. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Stutter Island-like. But it's tied down to like a smaller uh, concept because it's a house. <clears throat> oh wait, Shutter Island. <laughs> Okay, where the fuck did we end? Um. Oh, ye, wait, hold on, hold on. Didn't we? Uh. Hey, Thornhill, the art collector, a visit. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Carnby couldn't figure out where the boats were coming from. For a moment, Carnby wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy. Or he was below it somehow. Oh yeah, we went to we were in the boat. We're in his last nightmare, I think. He wanted Carnby to get to the steamboat running at, and out of the mud. Go to St. George's Hotel by the park and break into the kidnapper's room. Mmm. Okay. This is straight up old school Resident Evil, but reskinned. Yeah, we this game inspired the fucking guy who made Resident Evil, so there's gonna be some similarities, I think, here. I think that's what it is. Am I going the wrong way right now? We went this way. This game, the first one is, uh... Yeah. Aren't you tired of all these shitty games? Um, I don't know. I mean, I found one that's a little interesting that I'm playing right now, dude. I thought I fucking exited the game when they're- Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta get down here. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm all over the place. I was wondering why this game felt foreign. It's because I was using a mouse and keyboard. And I've been playing this game on fucking <laughs> controller. I had my mouse, I had my hands on my mouse keyboard. I was like, where do I begin? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yup! Yup! Oh shit, I have no more melee weapons. I used all my ammo, poggers. Poggers. This is one of those games where it knows when you have no ammo, so it just spawns some. Thank you. Now it has a live dev that watches your gameplay and spawns loot. The future. Thanks, man. One machine gun bullet. Thanks, man. Oh my god. One? Thanks, man. There you go. Plus one. What do we have here? Wait, it looked like I could interact with this over here. Let's see. I guess this game kind of a little reminds me too of um, 
What was that game by the Hi-Fi Rush devs? It was kind of like a shitty Resident Evil-y style game, but it was good enough. Even though it wasn't amazing, it was still good enough. Oh yeah, The Evil Within. The Evil Within had some jarring flaws, but it was still a great game. I wonder if they're gonna make another one. Evil Within was good. I remember when I streamed it, wasn't there some weird shit where I was like, there was a boss that I had no ammo on and I had to keep kiting the boss and slowly ammo spawned into the realm. <laughs> yeah, it was very fucking weird. I had to just keep kiting the boss and there was like an, a timer that spawned ammo. So I was just waiting for the ammo. That was on the hardest difficulty? Oh yeah, that I remember. You get ammo fucked very hard in that game. Yeah, I mean, I would totally play another one of those. All right, let me see here. Where the hell are we going? The church? Did I just not go to the door? Oh, the string's here again. Did I miss the string? It goes to this guy. Oh, shit. On my way to the hotel, the morning I owed the money. A lot of money. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. Just Oh yeah, this guy, isn't he explaining his previous case before he took the one at Deserto? I think that's where, where I ended. So yeah, this is what happened. Oh god. Oh god, I'm going to the church. I'm fucking going, it's yelling at me. I'm here! Church looks hollow. Maybe that's not where we're supposed to go. String goes here, this way now. Hotel, some shit. Dude's an alcoholic with a gambling debt. Ow! You're supposed to shoot him in the arm. Ah. Stop fucking swinging your shit. My weapon broke. Come on, man. You done? You done? He's done. He's done. He's done. All right, he's done. Thank you. Thank you. We need this. This is clearly like the heavy combat segment of the game because they're throwing a lot of mobs at me now. Making me go through all my resources until at the end there's just going to be the same mob but just a scaled up version. Burn your ammo and then throw you in a boss fight. Bro, how else am I supposed to kill him? There were any other melee weapons. Hotel Bill. What do you want me to do? Talk to them? I found him. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting and the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. 
Oh yeah, the last. Oh yeah, yeah, the last case he was on, wasn't Something it? About that name, Ted Stryker rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. I think he was looking for the dad who kidnapped the daughter. That's what it was. Right here, 301. Business card, David Thornhill. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Find out where the kidnapper went. Telephone directory, DeWitt boarding school. Oh my God, a map. Business card, telephone directory, hotel bill. Um, what do we, wait, 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 hotel, St. Louis Cathedral. Can I move this shit? This is a fucking puzzle. Hotel, up here. Am I missing something? Hotel up top, Thornhill to the left. Maybe there's another document I need to move around. And then Deserto. Maybe there's more. Or I fucked up, one or the other. I think I just need to move him around, even though that looked right. Bruh, that looks right. What? Nah, there's, there's another one. There's another one. There's gotta be another one somewhere. What the fuck is this? Wait, can you turn him over? Was that a thing? Oh my fucking god. $350 for the King Sport painting. DeWitt, contact Mr. Robin. 300 a year. That's right, he was running away, teaching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me, but I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. The Pro River Bridge. One sec, chat. Okay. Pearl River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Ooh. That's definitely a bridge. Can we go on the boat? Can't go on the boat. Oh, the string leads to the boat. You sure we can't get to the boat? It's around the other side. Oh, there's a path here the swamp level this is like Alan Wake light you don't need a mine place oh shit I think this is the way forward. Oh no. It was her all along. Oh. She was the kidnapped kid? I can't believe I didn't recognize him. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. 
Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. Wait, so... No, really. She died I in a crash a off the bridge? I was handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. Oh. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again, then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? The fuck? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. If I can raise the bridge, yeah. Okay. Are you saying to go back to the boat? And that's where the bridge controls are? Is that what you're saying right now? Is that what you're insinuating? Good thing you're hurrying so he doesn't drown. I know, right? Wouldn't he, like, dive in? This looks like I should be able to go up to, like, some controls or some shit, but, uh... Oh, wait, there's a gap right here. Little. It's the bridge control. This must be where the bridge is operated. Let me guess. It's not gonna work with this lever, okay? I will fucking gamba the fact, okay, that this shit... Ten fucking... Ten gifties if... I pulled this and it's like complete. No, 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 excuse me. Ten gifties if I pulled this and he's like, something must be wrong. I need a blah, blah, blah. Which means I'm right. Wait, what the fuck? Ten gifties, okay. I'm- I'm wording this wrong. I'm fucking wording this wrong. If I press A and this works, with no other side objective, 10 gifties. But, I think I'm gonna press A and it's not gonna work. So then no gifties, and I'm right. So if I pull- if I hit A, and it's boom, done, 10 gifties, cause I'm wrong. Fuck! Wait! Like something's holding it back. Yeah! Hold on, dude! Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, it's the side of. It didn't lower. It didn't ri raise the bridge. Okay, hold on. Okay, dude. Looks like I have to like chop it off. Whatever, man. Whatever. That was like a 50 50. All right. We'll give it a 50 50. All right. That was a 50 50. Whatever. All right. Where are we at right now? Did you adjust the FOV? Yes. Bro, where the fuck am I going right now? Back?
I tried mailing the thingy and nothing happened. Fight off the grasping vines. Why isn't he using his hatchet? I'm literally pressing my melee button. You need to shoot the fucking vine? bad it's just a little graphical glitch buddy relax the guys basing the whole game is shit off of, off of one little fucking string I can't I can't I can't play this Damn duck hunt. Shit. Yeah. I'm going down this way. was that dude yeah bro we don't have we don't have any ammo <clears throat> it says full hatchet but then I try to like use a melee weapon and it doesn't let me full full I'm pressing the usual button for melee Conby had run their car off the bridge he pulled grease out of the sinking can I, like, take items out? I've never done it. I don't know if you actually can. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm, like, glitched right now or some shit. Alright, now we take the boat. It might fix itself. It's been like an hour. showed up with was in the car. Oh my god, Carnby. Are you Her. okay? Don't leave me alone. 
What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! <sighs> hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place, <laughs> what the fuck? It's... There are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. She's not experiencing any of this, but this guy's an alcoholic too, so it's kind of like, yeah. This guy's in his own fucking limbo. You literally heal by drinking. <laughs> So it's like, yeah. Pay Dr. Gray a visit. There. She clearly had enough of me. All right, hold up. Uh, Dr. Gray's office? Oh, his apartment's right here. I've been healing for 40 years. Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Mr. Jones! Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. Oh! Oh, I can move. It's like some Pink Panther music. There's a book missing. Fucking book like this book? False book key item. Well, that looks like it goes there. But what is this? Oh. Have you found anything? What? Y yeah. Uh, yeah. I've seen some things. Okay. Let me know if there is anything you want to talk about. Ah, uh, I'm good. I'm just gonna go insert this book. Oh my god. What did you do? Oh my god. I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. What the shite? What the shite? I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Why does he have a weird fucking rune? First meeting. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here. Yeah, chat. We we don't we're not reading the notes in this game. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? The snake deck. Okay. Locked closet. What else do we have here? What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Hmm. Okay, that didn't help anybody. And I need a locked key. I might need to leave the room, but let me just look at the clues. Uh, let me see. Eye of the Possessed. In my room. You should have a look in my room. Mac Carfee. You might need to come back here. 
Uh, Usually it's marked on the map, but I think I need to go down to McCarthy's room. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to be doing here. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can solve this just yet. I'll be back. Actually, wait. Hold that thought. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. There's a mirror. Huh. Has that been there this whole time? Furniture key. Oh, shit. There's another thing? Wait, now we're good. I guess I don't have to. Oh! Oh, there I am. Oh god. Turn this way. <gasps> There's nothing. Fuck. Who the hell is calling right now? Pick that shit up. Hello? The dead it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy. Unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Yo. What the hell? Wow, great fucking pin right there. Great fucking pin. There you go. Alright. Oh, this broke? Oh, shit. We got another dimension thing. Use the talisman with the clock? What? The with the clock to open another gate? I don't know the numbers. What is this? Is this here the whole time? Oh, is it collectible? Nice. Switch disc, hold up, floor runes. Oh yeah, true. Now the floor room. Oh god, oh god, weird. Um, yeah, but the runes. Those don't look like the um signs. I don't know what the hell it's pointed at. Unless two of those are the same. Uh, 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 do I still have that little note? Those look like different symbols. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Yeah, I might need to ask her, but w one second. I need to look at this again. Yeah, there's no symbols to match here. Let me ask her. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jeremy? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. You think it's just the orientation of the openings? I don't think so. That's not how it's been in the game. It's been different. Everything's been matching like a chart. Is it just orientation now? All right. 
I mean, it is a clock, but you can't tell. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Let me see. Uh, I think it looked like this. It was orientation. Hmm. Okay, so in the closet, there's some weird shit going on. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not. Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. All right. I guess we're not gonna tell her there's some uh, insane shit. Miss Hartwood. Oh. I think you're gonna want to see this. Now she's gonna is there know. Something in the closet? It's not the alcohol. Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. What the hell? He's the only one that sees it. We're now in the closet, which happens to be under the house. Alright, game. Wrap it up here. Let's find Jeremy. Wrap it up. Ice pick. I mean, this game, we were in the desert. We were in, like, a swampy area. There's, a, a, there's like, a couple of different areas. We were on a boat. Now we got a flare gun. Now we're in Narnia. Yeah. We found the ink. Looks like we're now going straight into a fucking storm. Keep going. It's a fucking sturdy ass hat. Obviously how you shoot players. That's very red. No, it's not missing loot. It was full on flares. We're almost there. Oh, it's giving us ammo. Uh oh. What is in this crazy shit? Hey, yeah, anyone play Returnal on PC? Is it, is it like... I would play it, I just don't want to see the cutscenes type. You know what I'm saying? I wonder hey, if it's fun to play. 
What are you doing here? I played it on PS5. What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. They have a roguelike oh, mode? Wrong, detective. You're wrong. <laughs> Jacob Von Osdet. Hold on. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean. After a day of sailing due north uh, of the Esquima encampment, Jacob Von Osdet was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. This site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all in raptured in our search for enlightenment and meeting the surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon as we quickly picked up our gear ready to head back to our camp. Jacob Von Asa declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour and we feared for all our safety jacob refused threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone the next day the weather became worse the group uh written off jacob thinking he must be dead ah uh, That's when I saw him transfixed by a burning sky, the celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. Uh, you must leave now, her stern go and never come back. Oh shit. Okay, the guy we're about to kill, he wanted to stay looking for an insane metal. And he's fucking crazy. Right near the Stellarium. Ah, it accepts us. Align the stars. Holy fuck. Okay. Motherfucking shit. Okay. <laughs> of course, the Taurus. I figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned, Jeremy, or ah, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. Okay, wait, I think I see kind of what's happening here. I think we're aligned. I think. Unless there's another inner alignment. Whoa. Wait, was there another one? Ah, where the fuck was the thing? Oh god, 
I gotta throw alcohol at him. God, the last chapter. I think this guy may... Hmm. I don't know. He's gonna be living here by the end of this, it seems like. It's gonna end with him being just crazy. for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you are being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. How'd he get stabbed really? in the eye? All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? Wait, what? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. Wait, so... How are you feeling, Detective? It was a whole thing? How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize dear Jeremy. What the f- I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But- He's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. What? Uh... Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. So, mystery solved? Alright, I'm... Um, yeah.
Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. She was offended. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Okay. All right, tell me, what the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn-the-page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. They're all in on it, huh? What is this? Wait for Miss Hartwood. Uh, sure. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. What? Hell, are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us! Ever Hear the us and the and the and the to the black, black take pity on us! Hear us, us mother, and, and take, take pity on us! Take pity on us! Are you crazy? Stop! Nah, he's still hallucinating. Oh wait, never mind. Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. It is a cult. Oh shit. Jeremy, come with Fuck that guy. Jeremy, that guy was annoying. No, there has to be another one. Oh. No. No. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? Okay. God, they're all dead. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, how is a change of pace? Oh. I can't let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it. What the fuck? I guess this is the new season of Stranger Things. <laughs> the whole cast just died. Everybody's dead. All the characters you meet just died. Some ASMR here.
burning building. Yggdrasil! Yggdrasil! Oh my god, 
This is a fucking revolver. Nice. Wait right there, don't move. more growths on him. Fuck. No, there's no more HP. Ah! Yeah, what the fuck is this? This is one of those dumbass last fights. This is one of those fucking stupid ass keep reloading, throw ads at you, blah blah blah, la 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 la. It's good, you're just mad. Oh yeah, kid. Motherfucker, I will make the music louder, you piece of shit. Alright, first we're gonna collect all the ammo in the game. We keep saying I have four bullets. Shooting that. You have like a weak point? I'm saving him, I don't give a shit. I have no rush. I'm just gonna keep popping the guy's pimples. I, I think that's the strat here. Maybe, maybe I fucking damage him now. But this might just be ad phase. Was I at no HP? I thought I had full HP. <laughs> Wait, wasn't I at full HP? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking nasty fuck. You done growling, you nasty fuck. You done? You done? Shoot the growths. One more, one more. Maybe one more. Ah. All right, fog, add phase. Don't want to 
one tap me. much evidence. Their devotion to the black boat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? Like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Okay, so it was a cult. They were all come in on, on it. Jeremy, we're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Huh. The LDR, you know what? I missed some details. <clears throat> ah. It was a decent game. Yeah, I was like a I was like a 6 out of 10. 
things. Yeah. It wasn't like no nothing too crazy going on, but it was just like a fun game to go through. Yeah, like it was it was like the definition of mid, but it kind of scratched an itch. I'd say yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't believe this is a $55 game though. It should have been like a $30 game or something. It was like the definition of <clears throat> mid-city.